So previously I did a video showing Gears 5 running on GeForce Now Ultimate on both desktop and mobile via Wi-Fi signal. Both ran really well and performed how I expected it to. If you want to see that video, just click the boop at the top. This video I still wanted to play Gears on GeForce Now Ultimate, but I also wanted to test out playing it over my cell phone's internet. Right now I'm on T-Mobile Magenta Max, which gives me unlimited 5G data so I don't have to worry about going over my data. And they also do not throttle at that tier so I don't have any worries there. I ended up doing two tests. The first test was playing it at 1080p, 120 FPS, max graphical settings over 4G LTE. Now granted streaming at 1080p is not too high of a demand on your bandwidth, but streaming it at 120 FPS does require a lot more bandwidth than normal. GeForce Now recommends about 50 megabits down and we were just below it. Of course, with it being self-service, it can fluctuate wildly throughout our playtime, but I figured I would give it a shot to see what kind of experience it would be. The first thing I noticed was we definitely had some blurriness in the video stream at times, and it constantly would pop in and out of clarity. Again, I did not expect a problem-free stream over 4G LTE, especially at 1080p 120 FPS. One thing I did notice though was no matter how much the video would blur, the latency never faulted. It was crazy that even in a very blurry time, the latency would never increase. I was consistently able to get perfect reloads, which is very input latency dependent. I guess GeForce Now really prioritizes keeping the latency crisp a lot more than keeping the video crisp, which honestly is a good thing. You can manage with the video getting blurry off and on, but it would be a very rough time if the latency was constantly jumping all over the place. I'm sure if I bumped it down to either 1080p 60 or down to 720, it would not have been any issues with the video feed either. So maybe next video I'll try that. Now jumping up to 5G was a completely different story. Still running 1080p 120 FPS and max settings, but now it stayed crispy throughout the entire time I played. Video was amazing and of course latency felt like I was playing it local. It really is amazing how far technology has come that you can run a AAA title like Gears 5 or nothing other than a cell phone and 5G service. That opens up so many more opportunities to play since you don't have to rely on a Wi-Fi signal all the time. If you're in an area with strong 5G signal, you can fire up a game on GeForce Now and play. I even captured some local footage of me playing it on my Xbox Series X and you would be very hard pressed to tell any difference between the two. It really shows how far cloud gaming has come, well, GeForce Now anyway, that we can essentially get the same, if not better performance than a next-gen console on our phones. Of course, GeForce Now on desktop pretty much blows consoles out the water, but to even be on par over mobile is really impressive to say the least. Usually cloud gaming was always seen as being good if you were playing something slow-paced, like a RPG game or something similar. But now there is no reason you can't play FPS titles or any other fast paced games without any issues at all. Now I wouldn't recommend it for online competitive play at like an esports level, but that's a different bag of worms. For 99% of players with a great internet connection, it definitely would be a good choice. So that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Once again, just keeping it short, just doing a little quick test, seeing how it would actually play over my cell phone service. And for the most part, everything worked out well. I expected 5G to kind of win out because, of course, it would. It's way better bandwidth than 4G. But I was shocked that it was very consistent and very crisp. I expected some blips, but I never really got any. Of course, my 5G service was really strong during this playthrough, so that could have also contributed to it. If you have a lot lower signal on 5G, you might get some hiccups. But like always, thanks for supporting the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.